Who we'll bow your heads, please. Lord Jesus, guide our thoughts, words, and actions today. May your Holy Spirit be the voice we listen to today. Help us remain in you as you do in us. Amen. Amen. If you all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States and to the Republic which it stands, one nation, under God, unity, liberty, and justice for all. Thank you. you. May be seated. Have a roll call, please. Heather Bay, present. Mark White, Missy Parker, Harper. Here. Jack McCall, Johnny Taylor. Here. We do have a quorum. Thank you. Next order of our business uh, has anything altered on the agenda? Yes, there have been two changes. There was one um, item added to the engineering report for the sewer flow monitor. See that. And I added some numbers to the water loss report. It didn't change the water loss report. I just added to it. Thank you. Appreciate that. There's, there's, there's a second. All in favor say aye. Uh, motion carries. Next order of business is our approval for our board meeting minutes from last night. Have those or from last month? Have those changed since those were sent out? No. So they remain the same that you received in your packet. Mm -hmm. Have a second. First and a second on the floor. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Do I have an aye from you, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Thank you. And motion carries. Thank you very much. Uh, next order of business is our financial reports for September 2024. Has any of that changed since it was emailed out? They have not. They remain the same within your packet. Uh, second. We have a first and a second on the floor. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Our engineering report, it will be given by Mr. Evan White with Mid-10 Engineering. You have the floor. Thank you. Thank I'll start with the first part of the line. Uh, Y'all requested that we uh, check the pressures and, and do a study. Um, there's a letter in the packet if you want to read that. It. It's lengthy. Um, we went over on the 26 lane, Mr. Pumpkin Crook did. We checked it with a certified um, gauge, and it was exactly 20 psi. That was with the pumps on and pumps off. So it made no no difference. And it should look thanks to the pool. Um and that's a, it was taken two feet above the ground, assuming that the paint, the, the, the assuming uh, that the water line's two and a half feet deep or 30 inches, it would put you about 22 psi as the customer commanders. Um and the state line requires 20 decimeter location is the, the main one you tell I have to support. Um, it goes on uh, on down to the state about the two gallons per minute. We run the hydraulics at two gallons a minute for a service line. Uh, that puts uh, the customer at the far end of the line, uh, the very last house there, at 16 pounds at two gallons a minute. But if you go three gallons a minute on a service line, it'd be minus four gallons or minus four BSI. So um, it's between two and three gallons a minute, it's all you can be able to get through to the line. So then we've done a, a, a return on investment, and that's what we've done on all those when we calculated the goals of feasibility study, if you remember. So I actually broke it down. This is the the, office, uh, the opinion of probable cause that was taken from a borderline we just bid um, last month, and this does assume rock. So if there's not rock there, which I highly doubt, it would be a little cheaper. Um, but that's how we come up with the, the price we put there. If you put it together, um, the total cost was three hundred and fifty-seven thousand three hundred seventy-nine 
dollars, and that's for about 1.2 miles of water. Um, I talked to Tony, and he told me how many taps was already present and how many we could possibly pick up. We're assuming five new taps because we have a place on Tony um, with how many people down the road. So currently, minus the ones that's already got taps, because uh, uh, except for one, I did assume. I think the there's one up there just had a hydrant. We did assume uh, that. One. But the return on investment, if you use y'all's average usage, which was 3,380 gallons uh, per month, is what y'all's average customer base is. Uh, that's 127 years payment. Um, uh, it was about seventy-one thousand five hundred dollars in question. The term put the city come back in. The grant for the bid being successful has uh, been anywhere between five and ten thousand per question to even be in the to, to, to for five to even be in the run, I guess, for your annual. You'll be eligible for the five yeah, years. pretty much. I mean, you, you're always eligible to try, but I'm saying the ones that get awarded to you were between five and ten thousand per customer. And what and the, and what kills you on all these is the distance between customers. So if they're spread out on the road, that's where you that's sense. what makes it more difficult because you got to pay for the flying the time. Um, that's all I have on the actual study unless you have a question on it. And then in your packet, she should have put a uh, recommendation to the board for the sewer flow markers that we get out on September the 26th. Uh, we had one bidder, which we would we're just aware that there's going to be one bidder in about uh, um, there's about two that does it uh, on these usually. So, um, no, that's the one per name of bid, his bid for all clean meters is 399500 We had a deductive offering in the bid to take away five of them, and that was 96500 That would put us with a uh, if you took the bid with the deduct, it would be 303000 The original budget that we put in the grant was 301500 But we also had $59,940 in contingency. So you had a file for the project, $361,440. So you've got three options tonight. You can award the base bid in the amount of uh, almost 400000 there. That'll get you 20 meters. That means y'all have to come up with, with an additional $38,060. You can award the project with the base bid and the deduct alternate, totaling 303000 and you would not be obligated to provide any more funds or you can reject it. All these. Uh, our recommendation to y'all is to take option number two with the deducts. Uh, we've got eight meters that you have to have for us to be able to do a thorough study, and that leaves us. Uh, the extras for basically what we do is we put eight meters that never move and then we start chasing the flow with the extras up the line. Yeah. Right now, uh, the grant um, administrator is um, she's got all the Data into um, PDEC into EY to do the review of everything. So basically, y'all's approval is contingent upon those two. So, in other words, they have to approve it as well. But we're trying not to waste the money here. We're not letting them approve it first and then y'all approve it. So, our approval, question, y'all, so our approval would need to be based upon their. Confirmed. Yes, and we can teach the full letter proof. Correct.
And this is actually for the those ARPA funds for the Sanitary Sewer Flow Monitors Project. That is correct. So if you go to option two, you'll be taking whatever that is. I don't have the kind of figures in that letter, but um, basically two five twenty five hundred dollars out of your contingencies. So the extra money could go to any other project that we have allotted. Okay. Two of you know the tanks. Uh, the ocean, the ocean sheets. Yeah, I mean, we can move it elsewhere. We'll head in later on in case something goes on. We just have more contingencies. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. What is the motion at this point, or would you like to discuss? I mean, moving along the lines of you may have already used. You have a choice. It's not money. Right. What's your choice? Our choices are one, two, and three. It's the most attractive. And if we use the money for this, we can use it for nothing. I mean, the money's earmarked for this. Yeah, we've got to do this. I mean, if you don't do the project, we've got to go back and explain why. Well, we certainly didn't do the problem. Because you do need it. It's, it's part of um, When we got this money, they required you to fix your, um, golly, what do they call it? Critical needs. Okay. And your sewer is a critical need. So that's how we're addressing it. We're, we need the data from the flow meters, flow meters in order to do the next project, mm -hmm. which is some of the parts. So we And this will help you get CBDG in the future because you will have the data to show them where you need some of your lines to extend. Okay. And then for two, you've got the money you're wanting for that. And that's going to be okay. Is that a motion and a second? For number two, yes. on the contingency that let be known with the contingency, and it's known with the contingency. Yeah. All in favor, say aye. Uh, aye. No one to oppose. No motion. To, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Motion carries. The tanks are out to bid. The other project, I've got three bidders today. It went from the side. Three bidders for this. But we're expecting that. Um, it bids on the computer at 8 at 2 p.m. Let me double check that. Seals, seal bids, November 8, 2 p.m. here. Yes. Thank you. It's for all three. It's the three tanks. Which is part of our critical needs at Cruz and, and our write up. Okay. Uh, anything else? That's right. No, I'm not joking. Thank you. Thank you. The. Oh, wow. 14%. Next order of business is going to be our general manager report, and that will be done by Ms. Emily. Yes. Um, you have your water loss worksheet. We have decreased our unaccounted water loss down to 14%. Um, I have checked and rechecked numbers and you know, okay. gone back several times. Scotty has rechecked. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so Obviously, the leak at the fire hall was larger than than we ever expected it to be. But we are down to fourteen percent now. We were at thirty three percent in last year. That's a lot of water to be losing down. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well done to the team for fixing that collectively with the department. Appreciate everything. Anything else you've got going on you need to address? Okay. Next order of business we have on our agenda is public comments. If you signed in, you are more than welcome to speak. On the, uh, your name, please state your name and address for the record, please. Jane Perry, I'm in there. Uh, on the water, or on the flows, uh, it is 20 psi that's coming out of here. I would, I would like to recommend putting a flow meter on the one of the meters up there, 
I had a check. It's lost, but you got a screen you look at to see the pressure coming through. See if it holds the steady pressure constantly. It'll never hold steady pressure. It should. Um, more demand, the less it will go. Yeah, but you've got a lot of that I asked for that. Sure. I mean, I'm just saying it won't be steady, you know. Yeah, but it'll matter. If it loses one pound of pressure, you know, within a seven day period after you all the auction leaves before, then you put their signs up. You know, but it's hopefully hope you come to pressure. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, you've got 22. So I'm just saying it won't hold just 22 all the time. Though. It can vary. Yeah, it can vary, but it can't go past speed. Period. I mean, that's a Stay following up other reasons. All right. Anything else? Mr. Weaver? Uh, on the meter, how many meters did y'all count up there? Five additional. I think there's five or seven there already. All right. There's my meter right there. To blow up here. There's two other meters right there. One of those meters goes to three houses in there. Okay, and one of the meters go to two other guys, which has to get a lot of food on across the country. And where the macro set now, that place to get a meter. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, but fifteen people that need water on down down the below us. So they need some of those meters tolerable besides having water in your house. I pulled the financial estimate cost, but I didn't pull what the estimate what the estimated houses were going to be impacted by the there there, there's some properties that could be a mile kind of application not just water treatment. And when this was report was done, it was estimated to be 310, and that was before the escalated of uh Economy's prices now. Yeah. 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 I'll yeah. gladly get with Tony and talk to him about seeing other options. Okay. Thank you for bringing that. Yeah, I'm not just saying I can't have it. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? All right. Yes, my name is Steve Bird. I live at 1470 Grandma Hill Road. And the first time here yeah, in support of uh, uh, I'm a proud county commissioner in the 8th district. And I'm here to support uh, our constituents in, in the district. And uh, a few years ago, when we decided to go metropolitan, it was just something and, and the sermon was preached that everybody would be entitled to the same services down the way. And I, I cannot understand why uh, the, the people down in Grand Palace here cannot have water. I know one 80 year old man, he trusts, have a whole life every week. Uh, that, 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 and that is just wrong. And even though we have, we have good water and good pressure on Gravel Hill Road, it is wrong for them to have to suffer. They can't kind of take, uh, they call it the most there. They're doing everything right, but yet they still. They be punished for living on their own land. So they're actually being blessed to live on that road. We live in a rural community mm -hmm. that we don't see every single one of our neighbors. Mm -hmm. The cost of the taxpayers' um, premiums does not benefit the budget of this department. We do. We don't benefit from, that. Mm -hmm. and our grants are not assured based upon what we have here. We seldom acquire grants that allow us to acquire the funds that meet such a demand or wish as you request. 
otherwise, Tennessee Tennessee Code states that in in building, when someone develops property with two houses or more, that's a subdivision is what they consider that in the code. That makes that a responsibility of that developer to bring that property owner or next property owner their water. It is our responsibility to bring it to them as swiftly as we possibly can. And we could swiftly bring it to the 21 critically requesting homeowners or property owners with a grand total of $24,674,000 to this department, which means our premiums would escalate over, over 1,000% to every one of our customers for us to be able to afford to give all of those individuals. With, like you just heard a little while ago, we'd be looking at over 127 years for us to get paid back based on the premium of the minimum usage. So the cost for us to do it exceeds what our budget is. I was not a part of this board. I'm not sure if anyone was a part of this board when this when the community became a metropolitan government. I too heard those cries. I heard also heard those promises. I didn't receive those promises either in, Pro, in the Providence community. We put our water in ourselves, mile and a half private line. So I have felt the burden and that's part of what drives this board. Not a lot, not to mention the amazing hearts that have volunteered their time that are sitting up here and doing what they're doing, just like what you do. And I wanna thank you for coming and bringing your concern to this board's attention because we are attempting to get 21 confirmed right off the bat as soon as we can start acquiring some grants. It's on our wish list. It's on our 10 and 20 year plan. It's just not happening as swiftly as your constituents are requesting. And so we don't receive taxpayer money. We didn't develop that property. So that's not, that technically isn't our responsibility. We're trying to get it to the rural community as swiftly as possible. And the reason they paid, the premium they paid per square, per acre for their, for their lots is because they didn't have water. Same for me. 28 years ago when I bought the bought my farm, my husband and I went in debt for the rest of our life. And that is where we knew we weren't going to have water. So we knew the cost of the acreage being as low a premium as it was, was because we had to bring those amenities to, to the homestead. And okay. if there was a developer who wanted to come in and develop property on Griff Holler Road and take it upon themselves, that's a win for all of us because they will take on that price of covering their costs to bring the water to, to their neighbors or to those, those, their, their customer. Does that, do you understand? Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, there's another concern that I, I have also. Uh, I live at 1470 Gravity Road all the way. Uh, years back, when uh, they put the new water tank of Gravity Road, they moved it from about three miles up the road out there. On, on my phone. All right, I gave them an easement. I uh, put it up on top of the hill. And everything is good. Uh, about a month ago, I see them out there and I don't know what was going on, but they offered that easement and they get, uh, they trench went, they said they were running a line to put uh, some kind of power off. Uh, something up, up, up to it, by the fenced in uh, tank area. I was not notified they was not on the easement that I agreed to give them uh, years back. I don't forgot exactly what year that was. And I'm a little offended by, by that. I had spoken to the mayor, uh, the town a little bit. He, and of course, uh, Tony 
knew nothing about it because he just took over recently. Uh, before Mr. McFarlane, uh, he told me that we might need to do something up there. I would sit down with you and we would we would discuss. Okay. Uh, and then he uh, he mentioned that twice for about a year a little bit. But then Prescott come to find out that he left four or five months ago and told him nothing about this. Okay. Uh, Thank you for and, that. Uh, and that and and uh, I go to the mayor. Uh, I'm offended because uh, we can do whatever we want to with that piece, but I, I agree. I, I agree to, uh, to let them in. But I didn't give them a call. They gave me a call. We'll look into this and, uh, since this is the first time hearing of this. And, uh, oh, of course, they did. The tree they cut was pretty much down the tree and, uh, and rerouted uh, the raft and did to the tank. And I don't think it's bad. Well, sir, I would definitely look into this with the team. I right. appreciate you bringing this to the attention. Any board, anybody else have anything? Board comment? Is that everybody? All right. Did you sign in so we have your information? Yeah, I did. So I can get, okay, thank you. That way I'll know how to reach back out to you. Uh, that's all the board comments. We'll, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Thank you. I'm the first and second. All in favor say aye. Thank you very much for your time.